What's up, Brewskis? PC Gimmicks out here telling you how to set up a TechIt server. So, first off, we're going to download is WinRAR, get it installed, and yeah, if you already have TechIt and stuff like that, you should already have WinRAR in general. So, anyway, without further ado, let's begin. First off, you're going to need to download this file. So, what you want to do is go to Google, links will all be in the description, do not worry. TechIt, just type that in, press enter. First one called TechIt Line Technique Pack, click on that. Scroll down a little bit and you should see download ticket server 3.1.2. There, yeah, just download it. I've already downloaded it, as you can see, so I'm not going to continue it. If you don't believe me that I downloaded it today, there you go, 16th of October, and down here it says 16th of October. So we are pretty much in sync here. Okay, so once you got it, it should look a bit like this, you know, wherever you saved it to. I save it to my desktop. Okay, so what I do is just right click, new, new folder, and just call it, uh, let's be basic, take it. Server. So it should look a little like that. So once you get your ticket server, what you can do is just double click this file, the WinRAR file, should I say? Simply highlight everything. Do not highlight the dot dot or dot 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 or whatever you've got up top there. You know, you might have something. Don't highlight that or you'll end up copying your entire computer to the folder. And I don't think you want to do that. Yes, because that'll be a very big file. And it'll double your hard drive. Well, how much everything's in your hard drive. So you don't want to do that. So what you do is just drag and drop it there. Give it a moment, once it's done. Simply close winner as you don't need this ever again now. You can delete it, do what you want, burn it on your desktop, get the little game that blows it up. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is just open up the folder, simply enough. Okay, so some of you, when you double click this launcher in a moment, may get an error. Okay, if you get an error, just bear with me for a moment and I will tell you how to fix with that. For now, just double click it, but if you get an error, then ignore it for the moment and then I'll tell you how to fix it if you do get the error. So what we're going to do is double click it. So some of you, like I said, may get an error here, you know, saying system cannot find or something or, you know, some of those are like, but anyway, for the people who work, just let it load a moment, should take a few moments, come on, loading, loading, yeah, you, you can do it now. Uh, I forgot to mention that you do need Java JRE installed, if you don't have that, then you can't run a server, simple as. So once all of this is completely loaded, when it says done and then however long it took, simply just type in stop. Stop your server safely. And it should say stopping server, saving chunks, and they should say, there you go, press any key. Done. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger for you guys. So if you get any error, like I said, just edit this if you can. And by the looks of it, it should just work anyway. Uh yeah, it should just leave it. <laughs> it should just work. <laughs> um if if it still doesn't work for you, then I'll put in the description how to fix it. You might want to change how much gig gigs it used, depending on how much you have. If you don't know how much you have, start, computer, right click, and then properties. And this should tell you, I have 8 gigs of RAM, so if I wanted to, I could dedicate uh, 6, and then 3, between 6 and 3. But for now, for, for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to do that. So once your server's launched, what you want to do is open ops.txt and add your name to it. So I'm gonna do mine. Uh, save that. Does not need to be case sensitive. It's up to you what you want to do. So now you technically have it set up. Your server is set up. You may want to edit, you know, server properties. If you don't, if it looks like you just a blank file like that, what you want to do is just right click. Actually, open. Select the program from the list of select programs. Notepad. Press OK. There you go. There's your editor. So you might want to allow, you might want to turn nether off. You might want to change your world. Now, I'm going to leave it as that. Allow query, allow flight, server port. Depending if you've got a custom port number, you know, for your Minecraft server, you might want to change that. You might not, depending if you use default. I use default anyway, so I'm just going to leave it as that. Um, just leave that how it here is. Just leave that how it is. Level seed. If you want a special seed, type that in. Server IP. Okay. So if you're using Hamachi, then you might want to type in your Hamachi IP in there. If you don't use Hamachi, just leave it. Just just completely ignore that. Max build how it's set. How high people can build. Uh, spawn NPCs. If you want NPCs in the game or not. Whitelisted. Do you want it so people can only join if they're on the whitelist? Animals. Online mode. 
Um, I think that's for correct servers, but I'm not 100% 100% sure, you know, so just kind of it's up to you. You can give it a try, see what happens. Um, PvP, that means can people people versus people, simple enough. Difficulty, it goes between 1 and 3, I think. Yeah, 0 and 3. 3 being hard, 2 being normal, 1 being easy, and 0 being peaceful. Game mode between 0 and 1, 1 being creative, 0 being normal. Max players, how many people do you want to join the server? Do you want monsters? Yes, no, maybe? Nah, you just put true or false. Generate structures, do you want random structures on the map? You know, NPC buildings and stuff like that. True. Um, view distance, uh, just ignore that one. And message of the day. So, you know when it comes up in the Minecraft servers and it says something about a server, and then it says a little quote at the bottom, you're like, super awesome server. Yeah, you just name that. I'm gonna name it super. Awesome server. So what you're gonna do is just save that after you've saved those settings. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure your TechIt version is the same as the TechIt server version. So what you wanna do is run your TechIt launcher. Give it a moment. Oh, download an update. Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is technically live updating. Yay! Almost made it, almost made it, we made it. Loading. Da, 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 da. Right, so what you're going to do is just type in your Minecraft name, I'll just do mine, my password is, uh, I'm not going to talk it out because that would be kind of stupid, remember it. And what you do is go to options, and then always use development builds, or, no, sorry, go to manual build selection, and then make sure it is on the build matching your server, so, as you can see it's 3.1.2. Two, so 3.1.2 <coughs> sorry about that um, you might want to tell your friends as well to change theirs because sometimes they do have connection problems and stuff like that so what I do is just do that how much RAM do you want to allocate to tech it so I'm just going to leave it as default 2 gig just clear the cache to make sure everything's clear press OK and then log in and it should take a few moments to update your minecraft mine it's gonna take a while so i'm just gonna skip this bit out of here for you guys okay i'm back guys now i've updated it it took a while so yeah um your ticket should have loaded up i've closed mine and reopened it again just to show you guys uh it's updated so once it's done that it should open something like this just make that a bit bigger for you guys to see it so once your ticket's open Mine taking a while. Come on. Come on, dig it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. So what you, then what you want to do is just open up your server. Just run it for now. So launch dot that. Run your server until it's fully loaded. Should say in a moment at the bottom. He sixty nine. Um should say three point four one four. So, well, no, you shouldn't say that. You should say done and then how many seconds it took. Now what you do is just go to multiplayer. And then, as you can see, I already have one there from previously. So I'm just going to delete that for the moment. So you want to add your server. So I'll just call it anything. We'll call it cake. Simply because I'm bored. Yeah, right, there's a few things you can type in. You can either type in local host. That'll work. You could... <coughs> So guys, I'm a bit ill. Uh, you can either type in colon 25565 or whatever your port number is for your server. They'll either work. Um, or you could type in your direct IP, uh, your IPv4. But I'm not going to do that one. For other people to join, you must have a port forwarded or Hamachi. They must either connect to your Hamachi and then you send them your Hamachi IP and they type it in and they join. Or you port forward, and then you sh you give you give them your di your outwards IP if that makes any sense. So you if you're port forwarding, you give them this IP. If you port forwarding, you give them that IP of yours. And you can see you're just having what's my IP, and Google pretty much tells it you. It's your public IP, so that way other people can connect to your server. So once you've done all that, what you want to do is just join your server. And it should say over here, joining, checking, ser sending server side check to. And there we go, guys. We successfully have TechIt installed. Um, uh, 
There we go. Change my game mode. And as you can tell, we have tech it. Um, so if we go on to here. And there you go. We have tech it. And for everyone who wants to see a nuclear explosion, you can. Because I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling nice today, guys. Let's get some uranium here. Let's get some uranium up in this joint. Right, put that there. And yeah, I'm feeling kind of old. So we're going to make a nuclear explosion. Let's make a thing. We need more uranium. We need more uranium! Put the uranium in. But yeah, guys, that is your server set up. I'm just going to detonate this now. Run! Cow, cow, you might, cow, move, pig, pig, stop trying to hold the cow. Oh, now the dimer from radiation poisoning. Nope, oh, and there you go. That's a nuclear explosion for you guys who've never seen one. <laughs> so, ooh, uranium. So that is it, guys. Tech it is now so for you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. So, I hope this helps. If you get the message, cannot keep up, did system time change or something, so just ignore it. It's complete bullcrap. Uh, you can actually get plugins which ignore that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it should be working now, guys. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial has helped you.